All right, man, let's talk about uh, Steven Espinosa did an interview with Fight Hype, all right? Um, in that interview, he brought up how, you know, Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford, you know, how the split can be getting closer to 50-50. Um, I don't know if uh, – I don't know if uh, – if uh, – if you know uh cbs is hopping in and they're gonna make it 50 50 you know what i'm saying or viacom is the company but you are you know y'all know the vibes um are they gonna hop in and make it 50 50 or you know put some money in there because they all chipped in to make sure water get like 20 mil right so you know they all chipped in to make sure water got his bag so um but uh but yeah let's pull it up check out the box news playlist what the web playlist thumbs up the video share the video subscribe to the channel next subscribe button is the bell icon button hit all notifications increase your chance to get notifications we go live and drop a video um other people saying this come to an impasse obviously rick laser said that a couple weeks ago i talked about it um so i mean i don't know how long they can afford to start this fight out is the question obviously we talked about the date moving uh, yesterday. Uh, we talked about, you know, a few of those things. So I don't know how long. Um, I don't know how long they can, uh, you know, continue to stall, um, stall this out. But nonetheless, it is what it is. Um, see when that's the confidence that Spencer Crawford happens. All right. Um, so. He says, everyone wants to know about Crawford Spence and hopefully Ryan Garcia Tank as well. I can't promise either one of those. I feel pretty confident that we get we can get Spence and Crawford before the end of the year, says Steven Espinoza. Showtime just seconds out. He said, if we were able to get, if we were able to get Spence and Crawford done, that will be two fights for undisputed uh, titles this year as well. The path is much clearer uh, to Spence and Crawford. Then Ryan Garcia and Javante Davis. Now, I don't know why I don't like really believe that, but I know why he's saying that. It's because Oscar De La Hoya involved, and he maintains that uh, since uh, Terrence Crawford got rid of Bob Barum, this became this became an easier fight to make. That's what he's maintained. You know, so I don't. You know, like I said, I don't even know. Um, I don't even know, you know, I don't, I mean, but it just seemed like it's such a short thing. That's what it seemed like. It seemed like it's such a short thing that, you know, that they talk about tank, but we going to like kind of, we going to kind of get into that later. So, but let's keep going. He said, quote, it's an excellent fight, I think. You know, he's an excellent fight. I think it's tough fight for both guys. I've always favored Crawford in the fight, but uh, that's Tim Bradley. I know they mix him with Tim Bradley in here, so I don't really get that. But uh, so I don't know. They just mix the shit in there. So I don't know why Tim Bradley's in the article, but um, whatever reason he in the article, I can't tell you. <laughs> Maybe they made a typo, but hold on. Uh, but you know, he basically said that it's closer to 50 50. But hold on one second. Uh... Look, I, I'm, I'm very optimistic that we are. Um, and if you, you know, the mega fight everybody's talking about, you know, Spence versus Crawford, man, just 100% honesty. Are we getting that fight this year? I, I'm I'm very optimistic that we are. Um, and if you ask Errol Spence, like we did during the telecast this past Saturday, um, in the Jim Gray interview, you know, he was very definitive. He's predicting that we will get it this year. And and I tend to agree with it. Look, we, we know there are no network ob obligations or conflicts. There are no network obligations or conflicts. Sorry, you know, those are the things that usually mess it up. So now it's a just a matter of sort of grinding through the deal getting to a point where everyone feels like they're being treated fairly, all the details are taken care of, but knowing how bad Errol wants it, knowing how bad Terrence wants it, um, I think it will happen this year. Gotcha. Now, 
I mean, I know you're not going to go into detail about like negotiation, all that I hope I hope to it. But just in terms of percentage, um, are, is is spent expected to get this, at least a slightly higher percentage than corporate based on the pay per view sales, the yes, results, things of that nature? Look, there, there's there's some arguments. Look, um, you could certainly say that you know the belts, uh, you know, like, like, you know, proper sky. Um, that Spence has three and you know they get some of the two-year split or that you know Crawford's uh you know Crawford's pay-per-views haven't quite done the numbers that Spence's pay-per-views have done. You know, there are arguments, you know, but you could also look at it and say that like, uh, Crawford's been number one pound for pound, you know, he's you know been a champion longer than Errol. So there's arguments on both sides. Um, you know, I, I think where we end up is something that's you know, if it's not 50-50, it's pretty close. Now, Again, being honest with you, when, when you heard Eddie Hearns, all right, man. So, shout out to Fight So, you heard him. He's saying basically it's training more closer to 50 50. Now, you know, is that what I heard? Nah, but you know, like I said, I ain't heard nothing from PBC side of things in a while. I'm um, really pretty much nothing but Tim Zoo and Charlo, and everybody knew that was coming regardless. So, I didn't hear nothing from them on that on that standpoint. So, maybe they getting an offer together where Viacom steps in. It makes the uh, uh makes it a little closer. I mean, you know, that's pocket change to Viacom. You know what I'm saying? They can, you know, put the money out their ass and give it to them. You know what I'm saying? But you know, boxing ain't on the agenda. You know, when the you know the U.S. British the Open, the U.S. with all the, all the tournaments they got, man. You know, tennis tournaments they got, man. That's pocket change. You know, the tennis and the in the golf. You know, people say, oh, golf is boring, but they do better viewerships than the NBA. <laughs> Real talk. In like a call, you know, thirty times the viewership of a, uh, you know, of a, uh, you know, of a boxing, you know. So, you know, that's crazy. So I mean, but uh, in some cases, but. You know, nonetheless, I mean, we trending towards more of the 50 50 uh, tail end of things. And, you know, I don't know if somebody stepped in. I know when I was telling y'all, Water was getting 20 million in the fight. I think it started with the Dominic Brazil fight. I can't remember. And people were just saying, oh, I know Water getting 20, 20, 20 million dollars. Yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. And they and they, and they stepped in and make sure, made sure Deontay Water got his money. Everybody stepped in. You know, the comp I mean, CBS, y'all know they own by Viacom, right? Viacom pretty much own everybody and thing. Uh, television, I mean, Paramount, I mean, CBS, Showtime, MTV, Nickelodeon, BET. I mean, we can go on and on. You know, and they, everybody made sure he got $20 million for knocking out Brazil. It was all about keeping up with, with uh, Anthony Joshua. And that's why they end up getting Tyson Fury and bringing him off the couch. They thought that would be a nice play. Old fat man off the couch, sweet lick. Let's get this lick, um, and let's get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? That's what they thought it was, you know, and it wasn't that. But they made sure he got his money, and Terrence Crawford should be no different, even though he doesn't have the uh, the equity built up with PBC, you know what I'm saying? But uh, but dude, I did, I left my company, and now you want me to take a pay cut, you want me to take a little less. Hell no. Hell to the no. That ain't that type. It, is, it, it ain't that type of party. It ain't that type of party. You know, so I mean, I mean, obviously they say we're trending towards, you know, getting a fight. And maybe Showtime made an offer that Crawford team ain't, ain't spoke on or leaked it out, and that's fine, man. Just pop up one day with the fight and you know. For the most part, in time and manner, all will be forgiven. Best yet to fight deliver. So, I mean, at the end of the day, if we trend in more to 50 50, you heard him. You know, Earl Smith's number is not too different than Terrence Crawford's numbers. The biggest difference is ESPN give you closer to the truth of the numbers, and Showtime give you closer to a lot of will give you a liar as the numbers. Tank ain't do 275, and Spencer New Guys ain't do 250. I don't know the exact numbers, but I know how it works. Out of the bet, man, Tank was closer to 100k, and Spencer probably was more closer to 150k, 130k. If I was a bet, man, I still say Spence did more money, made more views. So that's if I'm a bet, man. 
So yeah, they ain't doing the numbers that, that they they out here saying they're doing. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. They're not doing the numbers that they say they're doing. And the in the discrepancy uh gap is not that big between their numbers. Errol Spence had the opponents, Mikey Garcia, Sean Porter, Danny Garcia, they were names. And those numbers still was comparable to what Crawford did with Amir Khan, 150, what he did with Sean Porter, whatever it was, 130, because they only did it through ESPN+. Plus. And only UFC fighters really, you know, only UFC really done that. You see, they didn't do that with Fury and Dillian White, and they said that fight didn't do that well, but it never came out with official numbers. You know, so... Uh, I mean, it is what it is. You know. No, but that is what it is, man. But, um, yeah, I mean, I think what it, what it sounds like, this is me assuming that they're going to step in and put the money up. I mean, because you can't keep putting – you can't keep putting bullshit fights and BS uh, uh, fights on – showtime platform it's not flipping a profit they're not doing no numbers you know they're gonna be off showtime pretty soon and crawford and spence may be the fight that saved them from losing showtime it may be the the fight and my pmc do, uh, voice knocking down doors that knock down doors for them to get other network deals right now boxing is a is if i have to make the analogy they're a high price hood rat you know what i'm saying you know hood rat that you know hood rat but she wear all the knockoff bags. She try to carry herself like a lady, you know, and all the, you know, all the sense, you know what I'm saying? You know, keep chasing her and you don't know. Don't wake up. That's all it is. A high price hood, Brad. And they're going to drive this sport you know, with or without Spence. If they don't change their, um, their agenda, they're going to drive this sport right into the mud or the feds are going to get involved. And, you know, that might be what it needs a replenishment. But you know, there you go. Shout out to Steven Espinosa. Appreciate fight hype. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And subscribe buttons the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase the chance of notifications. We go live and drop the video. Financial and support the channel. Cash app dollar sign CJ Good 313. Venmo CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Uh, you know, hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Uh, you know, Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts. I just put the podcast up. It's going to be a minute for it reach. Uh, Apple, Amazon, everything except for Spotify, Anchor. It's going to be a minute before it reaches. But when it when it does reach all those platforms, I'll let y'all know on the community tab, Twitter, my Instagram story. Um, so make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, whole nine. So appreciate the love, support, peace.